With lots of us working from home or studying online, it's more important than ever to have a good ergonomic chair which supports you. Hi, I'm Jamie and today I'm going to be reviewing the Herman Miller Sale. At $600, this is the cheapest chair in the Herman Miller lineup, famous for their Embody and Aeron chairs, and it really does live up to the Herman Miller name. It definitely has a very unique and functional design which deliver excellent ergonomics. I got this chair because I was feeling some lower back pain and I wanted a good chair from a reputable brand which would last me for a long time. I've been using this chair for the past four months and I've been using it for eight hours a day coding, studying and editing these videos and I absolutely love this chair and it is so comfortable to use. Taking a look at the chair, definitely the most iconic aspect of this chair is its design. This chair was designed by the famous industrial designer Yves Beha and he drew inspiration from the suspension engineering of the Golden Gate bridge. This chair uses strands of elastomer to provide support to your back where you need it and it is very comfortable to use and it has a very innovative design with the frameless back and the Y column. Furthermore, this chair uses limited materials so it is very environmentally friendly and is also one of Herman Miller's cheapest chairs. Ultimately, the design of this chair is clean, minimal and modern and makes a statement wherever you decide to put it. Speaking of making a statement, you can make a statement with this chair and personalize it to your liking with a variety of fabric and color options. The chair that I have here is the Java colored one, which is like a dark gray, dark brown color and it suits my desk setup really well. I also have a blue colored one, which I plan to resell soon and is far more conspicuous and really does make a big statement in my desk setup. Let's talk about the comfort of this chair. Not only is this chair a design icon, which has won various design awards, but this chair is also very comfortable for long periods of time. I've spent a solid eight hours a day in this chair for the past four months and it's been very, very comfortable. This chair definitely delivers the comfort which Herman Miller chairs are idolized for from the likes of the Aerons and Embodies. However, being half a price, it certainly is a little bit of a step down, but it still is just so comfortable and I love sitting in this chair. One of the biggest ergonomic features of this chair is the 3D suspension back, which provides excellent support and ergonomics. This 3D suspension back delivers great support because it's in an S shape which mirrors the shape of your back and is also pretty elastic, therefore it distributes your weight pretty well and is also comfortable for a variety of movements as it's frameless. Unlike the cheap ergonomic chairs which have a mesh back and often don't support my back and are painful, the suspension of this chair provides excellent support to my lower back and I don't feel as much lower back pain. I still do feel lower back pain with this chair if I'm using it for really long periods of time, such as three or four hours when I'm in the flow state doing an editing session or coding, and it still does hurt. Another great feature which comes from the innovative design of this chair is the great ventilation. Unlike standard office chairs, which can get hot to use and uncomfortable after an hour or so in the summer, this chair is very comfortable to use and delivers great ventilation. There's got lots of holes in the back, so I never feel hot and sweaty in the chair and can spend hours in it. However, of course, this chair does have a couple of drawbacks. If you are a larger person, this chair probably isn't it for you. It's very much one size fits all, unlike the Aerons which have a size A, B and C and therefore can fit a large range of people. With the sale, I feel like if you're over 180 centimeters or six foot, this chair is probably a little bit too small for you and I feel like I'm edging it with this chair. Another drawback with this chair is its normal seat cushion, which can get hot to use after two or three hours and is also a bit firm. Let's talk about the adjustability of this chair. To ensure to ensure that this chair delivers a comfortable experience, it has excellent adjustability. All of them have the standard controls of height, tilt and tension. A new feature for me coming from a cheap chair was a really nice recline function. The recline function of this chair is really smooth and fluid and I really enjoy it and it reclines pretty far back. If you're not a fan of the chair's recline, there's a tilt tension knob to the side where you can adjust the tension of the chair's tilt. There's also a tilt lock which can prevent you from tilting past a point. Most Herman Miller sale chairs come standard with the armrest and there are a couple of configurations for the armrest depending on your budget and your ergonomic needs. My chair doesn't have the armrest and I don't really mind that much because I just rest my arms on my desk and I enjoy being able to get in and out of my chair easier without the armrest. Also as a Herman Miller chair there are a couple of extra adjustments which you can purchase. My chair is the 
the highest bits model. So it's got the adjustable seat pan, which is useful if you've got long legs or short legs, and it allows for a more comfortable sitting experience. Some chairs come with optional forward tilt, and there's also an optional lumbar support, which I haven't tested out. But I'm already pretty happy with the lumbar support on the chair as standard. Let's talk about this chair's durability. When you're spending $600 on a chair, it better be pretty durable. And as a Herman Miller chair with a standard 12 year warranty, you know this chair's quality and will last you for a very long time. My chair was made in 2016 and is in pretty much mint condition and it's held up very well. It was used in the office environment for 5 years prior to me getting it. The only real wear and tear which I noticed on this chair during the reclined function it makes a little bit of a squeaking sound which I'll probably fix by greasing it myself or getting it claimed under warranty. Also the chair suspension is in pretty good condition, however the biggest downside in terms of the chair's durability is definitely on the cushion itself, so it's going to collect a lot of wear and tear, such as rips and stains. As I loved my Herman Miller sale so much, I decided to get another one to resell, and when I went to the showroom again to get one, they were all in pretty bad condition, with lots of rips and stains on the chairs. Should you get this chair? At around $600, this chair is very pricey compared to any other chair on the market, like the IKEA Marcus or just a standard office chair. However, I think it's really worth it, and it's more of an investment, and the price is pretty marginal if you're going to be using it for a very long period of time, and it does hold its value pretty well. It's definitely worth it if you spend a lot of time at your desk studying or working. A piece from the New York Times found that if you have a full-time desk job, 14,000 hours is the minimum amount of time you'll spend at your desk over the next 10 years. It's definitely a worthwhile investment. This chair is definitely worth it for not feeling the achy chronic back pain and the treatment costs of a sore back in the future. However, when you're spending over $600 on a chair, I would highly recommend checking out some used options such as used in body or Aeron, which should provide better ergonomics and be more comfortable. And if you are really keen to get a sale for its unique design, I'd highly recommend looking at a used option where you could save a lot of money. For example, I got my lightly used Herman Miller sale for about 230 USD. Ultimately, the sale is a very comfortable and aesthetically pleasing chair made by Herman Miller, which I highly recommend and I absolutely love. Thank you for watching everyone. If you liked this video, please comment, like and subscribe because I put a lot of effort into my videos. Thank you for watching.